Hey guys, well welcome to video 5 I think it is, my complication series. You should go look at videos 1 to 4 because it's not going to make sense unless you watch those videos. So now we got out that out of the way, um, I think I left off the last video with me throwing up blood. So, uh, and I told my dad the next day, <laughs> who at this point is sort of on the edge of his seat because um, of all the bad things that happened, and we're starting to, I'm starting to get a lot better, I'm starting to eat a little bit, tiny bit, I'm talking like, I'm nibbling on some foods, uh, that he's bringing me, I'm not eating any of the hospital food, and the pus in my bag is going down, and I'm starting to become more active, and then out of the middle of nowhere, I throw up blood. So, the next day, I'm still shaken from throwing up the blood, um, I found out later that it was a blood clot. Um, the surgeon sees me on that day and then he tells me that it's most likely the stint that the culprit and um, and that's to be expected and it's not it's not, not a big thing to worry about. Sometimes the stint scratches against some things and it makes some blood and then that clots and then it has to come up. So um, the day after that in the morning I'm trying to take my tablets. I've got three tablets to take. They gave me four but I was only taking three because one of them I didn't like and my surgeon told me that I didn't need to take it so I wasn't going to take it. Um, so really I had to take four tablets because one of them was so big my antibiotic that I had to break it in half. So I had a lot of tablets to take and I didn't feel very good, uh, I, I felt very nauseous actually after taking each tablet so it took me about an hour to take the tablets. So I'm taking my tablets and um, I'm I take about two of them before I start to feel really sick and uh, it sort of hit me, I, I didn't expect it because I felt nauseous after the tablets and then eventually it goes away and then I take my next tablet but um, I took took my tablet, felt nauseous and then all of a sudden it wants to come up and I was not going to throw up so I laid down and this is about 10 past 8 in the morning and 8, uh, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m are the, the big times for the nurses, they're, they're doing a lot, they're giving showers to the elderly and things like that, so they're all tied up and I'm pressing my button straight away um, to try and get the nurse and I'm pressing it repeatedly but it doesn't matter, you only have to press it once and, um, and, I'm, and I, I'm, I wanted a nurse to get me a vomit bag so I didn't vomit on my bed or on the floor, I didn't want to vomit on the floor again because that means the nurse has to come clean it up and then some very nice fellow has to come and you know vacuum it and then sandblast it and everything. So um, which where am I? Yes. So I'm laying in the bed trying not to throw up, and after about five or six minutes, it, I can't hold it any longer. It's it's just way too much for me. I roll over to the side of the bed and I throw up on the ground, and I'm absolutely horrified to see a what I can only explain as a sack of blood come up and um, I think I have a photo of it somewhere uh, but I'm not going to post it up because it's absolutely disgusting to look at. If you just Google image search blood, blood clot that's, in, that's, that's the best thing you'll have to do. Um, so I throw up a blood clot um, well it, it was sort of um, I don't know how to explain it, it was just like throwing up normally except um, once you threw up it was dragging itself out of my throat I guess and then after uh, I threw up after that and it looked like blood but uh, it was actually just blood stained vomit I guess you can say and um, <laughs> the nurse didn't arrive for another 10 minutes and I was not feeling well I was just laying on the bed and I was not going to get up and yell again for a nurse I figured the nurse can come when she can come so she comes after about 10 minutes and she cleans it up and my dad actually arrived because he was not staying at the hospital he arrived between me throwing up the blood clot and the nurse arriving and um, took a picture if, I guess if you really want it you can post a comment and I'll email it or something um, so you know I, I was actually pretty calm after it I mean I was shaken but then eventually I became calm because I knew the night before or actually the day before that 
um, that I had another one in me, you know, another blood clot, because when I threw up, I felt like throwing up again, but I didn't want to. So I knew that after throwing up, there was no more in my stomach, and that I would be actually be okay. So at this point, um, the waiting game continues. I didn't throw up any more blood clots, thank goodness. Um, the morning and night tablets that I get are becoming increasingly harder to take with the increasing nausea, which, again, come out of nowhere. And um, the nausea, uh, my surgeon told me, was because of the stent. So um, I'm getting nausea out of the middle of nowhere. My morning tablets are Nexium to reduce the stomach acid, um, a vitamin, which I'm going to take every day anyway, and a giant antibiotic tablet. I'll actually go and get one so I can show you in the next video, but seeing it on this, the computer screen doesn't do it justice. You'll have to see it in real life. It's huge. It's giant. Um, and so I'm going to actually wrap it up there because my videos have been going way too long and I meant to make them about each five to six minutes. So there's not too much left to the story, actually. But um, if you can share the link to all your friends, my YouTube link, so they can subscribe. Hopefully we can get um, my videos surfacing when you search for gastric sleeve and things like that. And um, this information should be given to every person that's looking on YouTube um, that are looking for information on surgery and things like that. So thank you for watching my fifth video. I hope you tune in for the sixth. Thanks for watching.